It's probably been five, six weeks since we've had any rain. Coming down pretty good. I like it. See if Tilly's still here. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's not dumb. We stay there, Tilly. We're enjoying the rain. Good rain about a half hour, man. This is going to do some good. Going to green things up. Look at that tree right there. It's telling its buddy over there. The old Polly. It's raining. Yeah, I know. I'm drinking right now. Just locked by up. It wasn't raining no more. Starting to die down. Hey man, we got quite a bit of rain. Look inside my gorilla cart. Right there inside my gorilla cart. Oh, I'm getting wet. Ah. I remember somebody telling me this spring when I was complaining about all the rain. He says, you're going to wish for that rain in July. Yep. You got a little bit of blue sky through there. It can stay away. Okay, I'll take these clouds, man. 85 degrees right now. Feels great. Alright. Well, I was curious to see. And we had a pretty good monsoon there for a few minutes. Ain't nowhere leaking anymore. Look at that. A little bit in this corner. That's where I have not put any flashing and stuff yet. But other than that, this stuff's flowing off real good in here. I like it. Did you get your your new toy that a subscriber sent? Yeah. You got big boxes of, of treats and jerky. Get that toy. <laughs> He'll be playing with it later, won't you? Yeah, you will. Yeah, they got toys. I got a calendar with puppy dogs on it. Dipped milk bones. I've never seen them. You haven't had those yet. And all kinds of chews. But you can't have any till after supper, okay? All right, that's good news. You all remember how it flooded right in here. Of course, it can't do that no more. Cool. And that's not wet. That's just a darker colored piece of wood. But the roof is doing its job, and this is the first time it's rained. Well, since I had that part of the roof up. <laughs> all right, those are minor things. Like I said, it's just a storage room. But I do got to correct that down there in the front. And it's this, see there's still some of this foundation there and it's running downhill. So I'll figure a way to get that reflected off of there. Come on down! That's some heavy rain, man. I got my water in here yet. Garden's getting a big drink. Cool. And I filled all that with rock a few weeks back, so that eliminated that issue. I'm actually going to bring much more out and slope it a little, but eh, for the most part, let's go check this roof out. I know it's working because there's no water inside. Oh yeah. Probably got a big puddle down there. Yeah, not too bad. It's flowing. That's the first time that's seen uh, rain. I gotta purdy that up. Get that tie back cut. Get trim on. Man. I wish I could wasn't so late. I'd start working now because it's awesome out here. 
Oh, I bet it's 70 now. We ain't felt temperatures like this in a long time. Look at this garden. It's gone. Oh, man, that feels good. We got the water. You can unwilt now. Do you hear me? Unwilt. I demand you. Yeah, I won't have to water tonight. Yeah, it's looking pretty pathetic. Crap, I hope them things don't come back. They probably will. Let's see if we can find one of them horn beetles, whatever y'all was talking about. I did research them. I believe they're hopping the other other plants. Supposed to be invisible, but I see it. Horn beetle. Well, he wouldn't be living here because he done that at all. Moving on somewhere else. I will be looking for them guys though. Oh, this feels so good. I don't care if I'm getting wet. Feels good, man, y'all. Well, I imagine all of you do know what it's like to not have rain for, God, probably almost, almost two months. Well, I know, I know the end of May. So, month and a half. Cool. Walk back the long way. Yeah, look at this grass, guys. It is just so brown. This ought to green it up a lot. So brown. I've only seen it like this once. Well, you can tell where my septic tank's uh, leaching out to. <laughs> That's one way to know about a septic tank if it's working. You'll see where the lines go. And the graves got a washing off. I want to do something nicer over here. Just haven't had time. This is Wally. Get him cleaned up. Yep, it's Wally's gravestone. He was a big old goofy boy. Don't post a picture of him. Lucy, that's Waldo's brother. She was my favorite. Oh my God, she loved me so much. Yeah, I only had her six years. Still don't know what happened to her. She'd come out one day and she was laying there, gone. My Lulu, I got her the same time Waldo and uh, Wally and Lucy. She's been gone almost two years. She died in October of 20, I believe. And there's two more buried here, one here, one here. They were my brother's dogs. You gotta get them some kind of marker, but I know where they're at. And over here, I, oh, what did I step in? What the heck is that? Thought it felt like poop. Blood and poop. All right, I'm gonna get in, guys. It's starting to lightning. Miss Telly. You didn't miss a beat, did you? You just stayed in there the whole time. Look how dry it stayed in there. I gotta get her up. Reminds me, I gotta get her somewhere she can go when it does rain. I'll build her a little shelter. Maybe bring the dog's shade shelter out here. I don't know. And that's gonna do it for today. Uh, I wanted to say thanks. Uh, had a subscriber sent a whole bunch of treats for the dogs. I appreciate that. Uh, it says dog man our dogs are fans of yours I wanted to send something to them Boston Terrier girls BB-8 and Suki Boar's Eye girl and Skittles From L-O-T-R-S-N from Maine. Well, thank you Roosters already had some jerky and they, well they all had jerky this morning and Sammy at Blue Feather Homestead. I've got your stickers look here 
I done got you on the refrigerator. That's where I put my stickers and right under MT Homestead there. But I'm gonna tell you something. I can't get the backs off these things. Maybe they're not stickers. They don't stick. I put duct tape on it, man. I ain't gonna ruin it, but I think they're stickers. But uh, you can't get the, the backs off, all right? And I just cut my fingernails, so that's probably why. But thank you, and thank you for the nice note. Uh, if y'all wanna send stickers, I'll stick them on my rusty old refrigerator. That's right, y'all think, people think that's dirt, that's rust. I cannot get that stuff off. And this thing's probably 15 years old. But it keeps a ticking, so it works good, and I'm not getting rid of it. You buy a new one today, they're not gonna last five years, I'll bet you. That's what I've been hearing. So if you got an old one that still works, don't get rid of it. Cause that thing probably got, might have another 20 years in it, who knows, but I don't, I'm not gonna replace any appliances till they're gone. I was gonna get a new dryer and a new washer, but why? All the dryer really needs probably is a, a heating element. And they're probably 20 years old, the washer and dryer. So they don't make things like they used to, man. They don't. All right, guys, send me your stickers. I'll cover this ugly, rusty refrigerator with them. There's a plan, and I'll make sure every time somebody sends me one, I'll do a, do a little dance around with the camera so everybody can see. All right, guys, happy trails.